Come descrivere allo stesso tempo un inizio e una fine? Avremmo dovuto saperlo, ma non fu così. Cosa importa ciò che pensiamo di sapere? Alla fine non si può negare la verità. A lot of emotional problems with that, um, with their, um, because what really makes a human being a human being is our essence, is the spirit that animates them. Dei nostri governanti, ma voglio dire dal Dio Totta oggi, sono, perché sono governanti, soggetti che hanno preso il potere. I soggetti che hanno preso il potere, che hanno bisogno di esercitare il potere, sono coloro che non hanno anima, perché anima se ne fotte del potere. Da questo punto di vista il loro lignaggio, che poi è il loro DNA, è un DNA che sicuramente non ha anima. Dunque è quello che ci serve per poter fare il patto perché è chiaro che io alieno darò se il lignaggio della famiglia me lo concede a lui una cosa che lui non ha gli voglio dare un po' di anima e lui la accetta volentieri perché non ce l'ha è chiaro che se i nostri governanti avevano anima mandavano a fanculo gli alieni in 5 secondi non è stato così io sono brunga ci farò la pelle eh? ho un altro factor e that is that they actually feed off the energy They're, they're vampires. The, the Zeta Reticulin Greys. The, the Greys, right. They're, they're vampires. Is this where we get our vampire legends? A lot of our vampire legends? I, I don't know about that. I don't know if, if that has to do with it. I, I don't really know. I wouldn't be surprised, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but they feed off the energy. They can even bottle the energy and use it for later times. Um, they're also stealing the vital bodies of human beings. Io ti ho Questo cerchio nel grano, apparso nel 2004 in Inghilterra, ha le sembianze di un orologio cosmico. Secondo le interpretazioni più accreditate, esso indicherebbe una scadenza. Otto anni per giungere alla fine dell'era cosmica, iniziata circa 25.000 anni fa. All'incirca questa datazione corrisponde esattamente alle previsioni del famoso calendario precolombiano. Qual è l'ultima agenda dei Alpha Alfa Draconians in relazione a Earth e a questa parte della galassia? Non vogliono che la nostra galassia si muove in una quarta e fifta densità, la consciousness, perché perdono il potere completo. Ma lo farà in qualche modo, non è? Non necessariamente, non ci sono garantie. Non ci sono garantie. There's no guarantee that Earth is going to go into fourth or fifth density. There's no guarantees that the entire galaxy is going to get there. Because if that were the case, they would probably just leave us alone and not give a damn about what's happening here. No. You see, the, the Draconans are third density. They're physical just like us. They can only move into fourth density by mechanical means. If we move into fourth and fifth density, they've lost their playground. They've lost control of what they want to control. So they're fighting like hell trying to hold everything back. Because if they can hold everything back, then again, it's a, it's a form of power, of control. Now, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, God, it's such a mess. Uh, there is definitely an uh, ancient time in which we have been merging with other creatures from the universe this is described clearly in the book of Enoch but who were these creatures? these creatures were the rebels that were escaping the angels, the rebel angels questo asteroide potrebbe passare vicino alla terra, molto vicino da provocare una rotazione più rapida della terra e fare in modo che le acque la coprono, coprono tutta la terra. Ma perché stanno costruendo città sotto il terreno? Città sotto il terreno è un po' per il scenario di disastro, il scenario di disastro. Ma è c'è un cosa? Sì. Cosa è questo? È questo un scenario reale o è questo un scenario? Da mia esperienza in Illuminati, il yes. momento in cui il 2012 è stato menzionato è stato either perché il 2012 è il 21 dicembre, il peculiar date in which a ritual had to start, 
a Pythagoric creature, because Freemasons trace their ancestry to Pythagoras as their faced... Uh, Pythag Pythagoras. Pythagoras, yes. For them, the fact that uh, this 25920 is the number of God and it coincides with the changing of an era has to be celebrated with a ritual that reflects above below. So on the 21st of December, you're going to all see them there with the rapes the feet. It's a holy day, it's the winter equinox. But do we see a, a, no a cataclysm? The whole pyramid will be together. For the first time, every single cult will be celebrating one way or another this specific... <laughs> Because we are moving the whole of our consciousness into a different part of the universe here. We so are this is a positive vi vision of the future, isn't it? I have definitely a positive vision of the future, but I also have uh, another, uh, some, some questions regarding how the so-called Illuminati at the top really are taking things. Because uh, when it was about 2012, they were really driven by uncertainty and their tendency was to build an underground bunker to protect their matter, interest, than to really grasp that this could be an evolutionary stage to go there. Of when, consciousness, yeah. a change of consciousness. But for them, it's, no, you it's, don't need an underground base for, for a change of consciousness. No, 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 but for them this is a business operation. You know, I understand. <laughs> the, the, the moment in which there is something happening uh, on top which is uncontrollable, a nuclear device will be triggered, the whole place will be very dangerous and, and underground bases are required. So you're saying people. the Illuminati are planning to let loose uh, nuclear bombs They're planning around the time of 2012. They are going to unleash them. There will be some very big happenings, uh, especially because uh, they will be triggered by Unfortunately, a very serious event that might happen around the Olympics of 2012 uh, in England, uh, which uh, seems to be... In England? ...had to come up with another alternative, which was they thought that they could create a controlled polar shift by detonating nuclear weapons or cobalt weapons underneath the South Polar Ice Cap, causing it to slip, which would cause the poles to, to slip. And within a 24-hour period, 
you would completely drown 83 to 85 percent of the population. But the Andromedans said that they will not allow. It isn't going to happen. If the Earth is going to do it, it'll be done on, by her will, on a natural, in a natural way, and that is a possibility in our future. What is the primary message of the Andromedans? Grow up now. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Take responsibility for your life. Take responsibility for your planet and realize this is your home, this is your race, and that if you, if you are sincere in making the effort to evolve, they will meet us halfway. But they're not going to come in here and do all the work for us. Their single most important thing is, and I'll go back to that little saying, the love that you withhold is the pain that you carry. We have got to start coming together as a race. We have, we have got to stop being allowing ourselves to